What's going on YouTube? So in today's video, we'll go over how to assign static IP addresses to your Docker container. <laughs> Hopefully you like the new intro videos for this channel. That's something I'm experimenting with to see if I could like spruce up the channel a little bit. But anyways, to get into the topic of this video, one of the issues that beginners will encounter is the way Docker assign IP addresses to containers. By default, IP addresses are assigned as a first come first serve, meaning that depending on the order you start your containers, they can have different IP addresses. And if you're anything like me, I tend to use multiple environments. While QA would be testing on environmental A, I will be developing on environment B. Since I tend not to start my containers in the same exact order each and every time, having different IP addresses will cause some annoyances because I will need to reconfigure my SQL Workbench or Squid or any other type of service that I use to map um, specific IP addresses. All right, so right now let's actually go over the specific of the issue that I'm talking about before I actually go to the solution. So right now I'm going to start up two different Docker containers, MySQL 5.6 and MySQL 5.7. Simple enough right now. So what we're going to do is, is look at MySQL 5.6 and you will see that the IP address is 17, basically 17.0.2, okay? So let's look at the IP address of 5.7 and you can see it's 17.0.3, right? So this is the default network configuration. So let's go ahead and stop them and then let's go and restart them in the different order and we'll see what the issue I was talking about. Um, granted, I'll go to the solution into this in a little bit. So, or if you really, really want to get to the solution, just go into the description and I already have the solution in there, okay? So let's look at, so we started off in a different order and let's look at 5.6. And you can see that since that's the last one, it has 0.3. And now we're gonna look at 5.7. And since that was the first one, it has 0.2. As you can see, depending on which order you start the container, it can have different um, IP address. Okay. Now, for those that are listening to the video, now let's go into the solution. So in this, we're going to do the the Docker create command, and what we're going to do is actually create a network. So as you can see, we pass in the argument driver, and that is going to be set to bridge because we want to be able to have hosts and any other external connections to connect to those containers. What the subnet allows us to do is uh, assign an IP range for the containers and gateway is just for the containers to be able to access out into the internet and vice versa where the external could go through in. And then the last argument is the name of the network. So I'm not going to actually run this command because I already have a network set up and I don't want to go through this up again, but trust me, it works. But for your considerations, I am going to reassign IP addresses to my containers. Okay. So I already deleted the assigned IP address and I'm going to reassign their IP address again. So we we'll use the, the Docker network command again. What we're going to do is connect them and we say what IP address on what network to which container. All right. And now that we have, have assigned an IP address to the specific containers or assign them the way I want to assign them, what we're going to go ahead and do next is actually start each of the containers and we're going to do the docker inspect and you will see what will happen uh, with this new assignment so as you can see you will have as the ip address that assigned to mysql 5.6 however you will see that it still has that old ip address that's 17.0.2 same with 5.3 i'm sorry 5.7 mysql 5.7 jeez i'm sorry losing my words over here However, this is not an issue because the one that I care about the most is that 18.0.2 for 5.6 and 18.0.3 for 5.7. And as you can see that even if I were to restart them in a different order, while well, the default IP address will change, but the ones that are assigned to them, they will still stay assigned no matter what order I start the containers. So this is actually a solution that I like to use because the, it allows me to start the containers the way I want to start them and not worry about them having IP addresses that I didn't 
take account for. And yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. So I will, like I said, I will include the code, sorry, the commands in the description of this video. And if you learn anything new, please like the video. Sorry that I'm like stuttering and tripping over my words. It's just something really exciting to go through. But anyways, if you like this video, please press the like. If you learn anything new, press like. If you watch this video, press like. I don't care. Just press like. Just do it. Um, if you leave any comments or questions for me down below, you know, subscribe for more videos. And just a sneak peek, I might be doing some experimentation with the main stack. And if you want to see that, please let me know. Until then, peace.